All right, the next thing that we're gonna talk about in this course is the replacement that you would have for your Elmo. Many of you may have already used this before. This is the document camera that's gonna come with any new, uh, new classroom setups that we have. And this is the Hovercam Solo 8. Now it is just basically a camera on a stick. I'm gonna go over the hardware requirements for this, how to hook it up. Then we're gonna go over the software side of things because that's where the magic happens. Now, let me start by just kind of going over this. There is only one cable in the box and that's because this requires only one cable to use. So hallelujah, I don't have all that spaghetti coming out of my document camera anymore and going all over my desk. I only have one cable. This should be all I need for power and, and the use of this. The other thing is there are very few buttons across the top, but this operates as a webcam that I can use with lots of different things. Not only that, but there's a microphone here. So if I wanna use this for my Teams calls, if I wanna use this to record videos with, I'm gonna show you how to do all of that. Let's go ahead and hook this up though. Before I hook it up, I want to show you that on the back, there are two different places that I can hook this up. Typically when this is a brand new unit, the middle one or the one that's in the middle of the unit is covered up by a piece of plastic. That's because underneath that plastic is where the software is. If I uncover that plastic and plug it in there and then into my laptop, it's going to show up on my computer as a USB drive. And guess what's on that USB drive? The software that I need to install this with. If I don't want to do this route, I can just go to Flex 11. I do a Google search for Flex 11 software and I can download the same thing from the internet. So Flex 11 is the name of the software that you need to run this. Once you either have it downloaded from the USB side of this or from the internet, you're welcome to go. That means that you cover that back up with a little piece of rubber and you stick this back into the hole that's just uh, to the side of center. Now I'm ready to plug this in. Let's see, I'm gonna plug it in right here onto the side of my laptop and it's blue. That means that it is powered and ready to go. So Scott, my hover cam is now powered and ready to go. You just told me it was. How come I don't see anything? Where do I see it? That's because from now on, you are no longer going to switch between your computer and your document camera. Those days are over. Instead, you're going to leave everything on your computer and you're gonna access your document camera through an app. In this case, that software that we just installed, the Flex 11 software, that just opened up my document camera. My kids in the class can now see everything that I have going on underneath my document camera. Not only that, but if I have digital kids out there that need to see what I'm doing through Teams or through some other online service that I have, I now can just share my screen with them and they can see this also. That's pretty cool. Now, check this out. If I want to make it go a little higher, I can do that because this head on here rotates 180 degrees. The neck also rotates 180 degrees. So I should be able to either come down and really close to something or far away from it if I have a very large object down there. On the front, I have several buttons and I'm going to show you what those look like here in a second. Let me get some, let me get some text. I need some text in here. Eh, I'll use my phone. Here is my phone. All right. Dink. Let's see. What do you notice first of, off about my phone? First off, it's sideways. Well, that's not gonna work. Instead of having to move my document camera so that it's not sideways anymore, there is a rotating lens on here. So if I just rotate this, it will actually rotate the entire thing 90 degrees and I don't have to change the orientation that I have there. The other thing that you're gonna notice is, you saw me click a button down here. Let me explain what those buttons do. Actually, let me take a picture so that you can see a little bit closer what I'm looking at here. There we go. 
So the first button that you're gonna see is all the way in the top right corner, that is auto focus. If I tap that once, it's gonna focus on what I have here. You notice that when I first put my phone up under this, it was a little blurry, so I tapped the auto focus and it focused. The other one underneath that is AFL, that stands for auto focus locking. The reason I would wanna use autofocus lock is because there might be two or three things that are of different depth ranges inside the, uh, the focus area. And sometimes you'll notice cameras try to, they lose their focus and they try to, cause they don't quite know what to focus on. Especially if you've got your camera like this, kind of on the edge of a desk, it might focus on the carpet. It might focus on the edge of the desk. It might focus on my camera. So if I lock the autofocus, then I'm locking it to a specific range and it won't ever leave that. In the middle, I have the ability to rotate things 180 degrees. So I just took everything and flipped it upside down. That's important because sometimes I get down here with my online kiddos and I wanna have a little chat with them. Sometimes I'm upside down when I have a little chat with them. So I just hit the button in the middle and now I'm right side up. So we can have that conversation and then I just tap it again and down we go. So I should very quickly be able to change the orientation with just a tap or two without having to move things around a whole lot. On the right side, I've got zoom in and zoom out. Those are pretty self-explanatory, but here's my problem with zooming in and zooming out. I think it's better, instead of zooming in and zooming out, ooh, let me, Focus, there we go. Instead of zooming in and zooming out, do all that from up here. Look at this. If I just zoom in and zoom out by pinching or, or uh, expanding with my fingers, then I no longer have to keep going back to my phone to adjust things. I can completely do everything from right here. So that is going to be a very different uh, operation than trying to do this uh, with an old school document camera where I had to focus and move everything uh, down here. 